Hi, I'm Christine. After working hard for many years, accumulating material things, I decided to sell it all. Now I travel living out of my SUV with my old and blind best friend, Chase the Dog. We roam the US looking for adventure, food, and fun. If you'd like to be our travel buddy, then like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Join our Patreon or YouTube membership community for exclusive perks and content. In this video, I grab a quick bite before hitting the road. I have a challenge with my tire, but use it as a growth opportunity. I see stunning landscapes on the Flaming Gorge Byway. I get up close to the humongous Flaming Gorge Dam. I have lakeside enchiladas. I witness the breathtaking Red Canyon. I make an unexpected friend while looking for my wilderness campsite. And I watch the sun rise up with magnificent colors over the Red Canyon. Good morning, guys. I spent the night at the Walmart in Rock Springs, Wyoming. It has one of the most spectacular Walmart parking lot views I've ever seen. So I'm just enjoying my coffee and waking up a bit before I head to Planet Fitness to shower and get ready for the day. But I wanted to show you guys this view. It's pretty good. I'm gonna hit up the grocery store first because I'm starving and I'm craving good food. Hi doggies. Oh my God, there's a third one. <laughs> so cute. Aw, oh, there's a flower in my cart. That just feels like a good sign for the day. Dude, I just found green chili chicken enchiladas on sale. It is gonna be a good day. I don't know how I'm gonna cook those, but they sound so good, I gotta try. I need something right now though, cause I'm starving. <laughs> Wasn't gonna buy juice, but I'm a sucker for a sale. Right across from the grocery store is a little park, so we're gonna have breakfast. Chase, you have a lot of static today like a mad scientist. Some of my tires could use a little air and I just found this website called freeairpump.com. It takes your location and shows you the nearby areas that will give you free air for your tires. Turns out there is a gas station less than a mile from me. Awesome. Let's do that before we hit the road. So sometimes I feel like I should share some of my struggles with you guys. I really try to keep my videos mostly uplifting and positive because I really relied on other people's positive travel content. When I was going through dark days, they really cheered me up and I wanna be able to produce that for other people too. However, I don't want to make it seem like my life is perfect. Right now, I'm working on being able to go with the flow more. I'm really trying to make YouTube my sustainable job, which right now I'm growing slowly and I'm thankful for that. I know that's fine, but each month I have to dip into my savings a little bit and that's not gonna last forever so I've put myself on like this strict <laughs> deadline to post every week and I have like all these markers I'm trying to hit and then I outline how I'm gonna do that so like I'm very organized and I have my goals broken down which can be a good thing but I get so rigid that if something goes wrong which it always does that I get so stressed out and that's just really not good for so many reasons but especially in like a creative career like when I get to in my head I can't create from my heart which is how I want to live my life and how I want to make my videos so I have let go of the strict timelines yes it's still my goal to post weekly and I'm gonna try to hit that but not at the expense of making my days unenjoyable so for instance with the tire situation the first place I stopped three tires filled up nicely I was having trouble with this front one the machine was just letting air out instead of putting it in so one of the customers suggested I go to a different gas station they have a better pump there so I did but it wasn't working so I had to go to another one so this has turned into like over a half hour kind of annoying fiasco which is not a good start to the day and normally I would just like push through it be like you got to get this video out you got to get it done today you got to be done filming <laughs> but my new strategy is if a negative emotion comes up like stress or annoyance or whatever I'm just gonna stop and feel what I need to feel <laughs> and if the video takes two days instead of one that's fine there's no guarantee in any endeavor that you're gonna make it so like you have to 
enjoy the journey or else you might end up at the end of your life not having enjoyed it and having no fruit to show for it. And that's just not going to be my story. So my main focus is going to be to take care of my emotions and enjoy the journey. And of course, I'll make sure I could pay my bills. But other than that, I'm just letting my heart be my guide. I have been drawing a little heart on my hand every day so that I remember this. Sorry, mom, I know I'm not allowed to draw on myself, but it's for a good purpose. I was reading Helen Keller's book on optimism in the massage bed at Planet Fitness today, and she mentioned that Darwin could only work four hours a day. And I looked it up, and that's true. He usually worked very short stints and not many hours per day, and he took a lot of time to chill and reflect. And it took him 20 years to put together his theory of natural selection before he presented it to the world. So that was just kind of encouraging that like even really intelligent people who change the world can't work 16 hour days, seven days a week. We are officially on the road and headed to see Flaming Gorge. It should be a beautiful day full of wonderful scenery. As I'm leaving Rock Springs, I am just still taken aback by how beautiful this city is. The landscape here is incredible. First scenic lookout. Oh my word. This is gorgeous. We're only about 10 minutes into the, oh, there's gorgeous that way too. We're only about 10 minutes into the drive, so I didn't expect it to be this pretty so soon. I love my home state of Michigan, but growing up with only seeing really like flatlands, coming to a place like this is mind blowing and Wyoming has just been like spectacular. I've seen a lot of places like this on TV because I like watching nature shows and things like that. But when you come to a place this beautiful, there is like a feeling that you cannot replicate by any type of media. And of course it's not possible to travel everywhere in the world. So sometimes you just have to settle for TV. But if you have the opportunity to travel anywhere new, just go do it. It's gonna change your heart. So this is the loop that we're going to do today. Currently, we are right here. There should be a lot of fun stops along the way, but the big shows are the Flaming Gorge Dam and Red Canyon Visitor Center. Looking forward to it. I think I see the first animal. It's a ferocious and wild wolf, fierce in his rugged habitat. And you really need to be careful driving here. You start rolling down that hill, you are not getting back up. It cracks me up that the cows are free range out here. Like we have lots of cows in Michigan, but they're all fenced in. Like you never have to worry about cows crossing the road. I wonder if my big black SUV looks like a huge cow to them probably thinking that's one huge cow you're driving lady oh man i'm gonna be losing it out here Awesome how when you're in such a big open space, you just feel like big and more open. Oh my word, those mountains are snow capped. Oh, so cool. This isn't a lookout, this is just someone's driveway, but I had to stop because it's gorgeous in every direction, oh my word. We've been going in and out of service and we're getting close to the visitor center, so I should turn my GPS on. Starting route to Flaming Gorge Dam Visitor Center. <gasps> Siri, watch your mouth. We stopped for a potty break. Yay, we're in Utah! 
a new state. I want to see the squid-like creatures. There's a sign that says you can camp here. No way. This is amazing. Oh my word, oh my word! Oh! Are you freaking kidding me? It is so gorgeous, the sun is shining. The water is sparkly. Dude, this is incredible. Oh my gosh, there's little islands. Oh, I can't believe I almost didn't come here. It's like two hours out of my way. And I was like, oh, is it really gonna be worth it? Always take the scenic route. I'm looking at the dam and it is unreal. There have been certain times in my travels that I like feel like a real adventure, like my first cave and things like that. And this is one of those moments. Towering 502 feet above the Green River and completed in 1964, the Flaming Gorge Dam was built to provide water storage and hydroelectric power. We are at the visitor center now and they have a couple picnic tables with a beautiful lake overlook. So this is where we're making lunch. These are thick burritos. So my plan is just to cook them low and slow with a cover on. I think I'm actually gonna take the toppings off and then that way I can flip them. I'll put the toppings back on. Well, I couldn't really get the cheese to melt, but I don't care. The burrito's warm and I'm gonna love it. Man, Flaming Gorge is gorgeous. See what I did there? All right, on to the Red Canyon. Dude, this place is so cool. There's like awesome red rocks behind me and right in front of me is this awesome bridge and you know I love me a good bridge. This one you can walk right up to though, it's so cool. Wow, look at this gorgeous lake on the way to the canyon. So we're at the Red Canyon area now. The forest and the trail leading up to the canyon is really pretty. I have a feeling this is going to be spectacular. I'm so excited. So far I can only see the tops, but even that is amazing. <gasps> I see the water. <gasps> wow! I'm speechless. This is amazing. other side oh. oh my word I can't believe this this is so beautiful <laughs> kind of scared to drop my phone down here this is just so stunning you can just walk right up to the edge. Oh, my heart and stomach. If you like heights, you would love this place. So that's what the drop off looks like. So I just confirmed I'm in the Ashley National Forest and dispersed free camping is allowed here. There are the normal rules, but that's fine. I'm just gonna honestly pull out of here and look for the next side road and try to find a campsite. All right, first side road, number 839. Let's try you. Camping limit 16 days, no problem. Never seen this before. Please close the gate. Must be okay, I see a camper over there. I feel 
like a cowgirl. That's just something a real cowgirl would do. That's how it's done. Looks like I've got neighbors. I don't know if I'm supposed to be here. There are horses in a cage. <laughs> Hi, buddies. I see another trail. I think I'm allowed to go on that trail. Let me show you the horses, though. There's a there's a horse that's loose and it's coming straight at me. Roll up the windows. Oh, buddy, I don't have anything for you. Oh my word, how cool is this? I rolled up Chase's window so the horse doesn't stick his head in or anything. Hey, don't eat my car. Just scraped his lips on my windshield. You are so, no, hey, 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 okay. All right, it's time to go. Bye, new friend. Well, that was an awesome and totally unpredictable experience I didn't expect. I still have horse slobber on my windshield. All right, so I found a trail that hopefully will take me to a campsite. It's pretty rocky, but I'm going slow. I'm just gonna take the first campsite I can get because these ruts are pretty deep and I can kind of hear the bottom of my car scraping on them, which makes me very nervous. All right, this looks fine. We don't need anything fancy tonight. I'm gonna let Chase free, but I still have to really watch him. We are in bear country. Tonight is Wednesday night, which is when my new videos post. So a new one is gonna post here shortly. I'm gonna get online and just reply to comments until it's time for me to go to bed. And then I'm gonna try to get up early for sunrise. Good morning. It's a little bit after 6.30. It is very chilly outside. It's just over 40 degrees. We're about 10 minutes from the Red Canyon. I wanna go back and see it at sunrise. It's gonna be awesome. Good morning, dear. I have this whole place to myself. <laughs> no one's here for sunrise over the Red Canyon. Everybody's missing out. This place is just as stunning the second time. I actually had a little trouble falling asleep last night because every time I got close to dozing off, I would like see myself on one of these cliffs and then feel like I was falling and I'd wake up in a panic. I do like heights, but I'm still scared of them. I like walking on the edge, but not too close to the edge. It's rocky here too, so like you really got to watch your step. Oh wow, how exciting. Thank you guys so much for watching these videos. Having epic travel experiences like this would not be as fulfilling if I didn't have people who cared to share it with. So genuinely, thank you so much. I'm gonna end the video here. If you're new, please hit subscribe to join the adventure. If you enjoyed this video, hit like as well. I'll see you next time.